Marvette Brito and her sister Sherelle Norton have known Whitney for two decades. Sherelle was a very close friend. Sherelle, take us inside the church. What was it like in there? Oh, well, it was beautiful. It was, um, it was definitely Whitney's spirit all through the room. And um, it was a home going that we all must go to, you know, have one day. Um, it was one of the, it, it was like, it was like doves just flying around. It was a beautiful, it was a beautiful home going. Did, did people feel as though they'd sort of lost track of the Whitney over the years and that, that this was, they, they kept calling it a homecoming or a home going and, and it certainly was homespun and there were people that really knew and loved her. Did people have regrets and guilt and feel as though they'd lost her in recent years? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, I think what people, you know, I think people were just going to miss Whitney Houston, the, the singer, um, the songstress, and I think people were going to actually miss Nippy, the mother, the friend, the sister, you know, the auntie. Now, HLN's Ryan Smith recently attended a tribute to Whitney Houston outside of her elementary school and spoke to her former principal. Take a look at this. I've had too much sleep, to be honest with you, and sometimes tears come on my eyes, you know, just thinking about it. I try not to uh, become too emotional because she was a beautiful person, beautiful singer, and, and we all loved her. Yeah, I think that um, I could achieve whatever I want, like, just like she did. And now the town of East Orange is united in remembrance of a beautiful young lady they all knew as Nippy. And today that school is actually named after Whitney Houston. Marvette, it seems that Whitney Houston had almost an uncanny effect on the people that knew her the closest. I think she did. It, it really, that service was so symbolic of everything that Whitney represented. When you talk about her roots, she never left her roots at all. I think that she carried the light, the, the illumination of, of the light of her faith really carried her through every dark moment in her life. And I think that church and the service and the words were just reflective of who Whitney Houston really was and what she truly meant to every individual whose life she touched personally and whose life she touched through song. Sherelle, uh, Kevin Costner seemed to have really touched a chord. He actually got a standing ovation, I believe, if I remember right after he spoke. What, what was it he spoke to that you think resonated most for people? You know what I think it was? I think it was uh, when he said, you know what, you're great. Greatness was greatness. It was all around her. It wasn't that she was just good enough, but that she had greatness. You know, it was interesting. Marvette was thinking back to uh, to Kevin Costner again. He, you know, in a, in a really home going funeral, there, there's always a little bit of humor, and he he kind of brought the humor, saying that uh, he and Whitney, just same person. He's white. He's a male, but overlook all that. But but he was. But he was saying something about the universal appeal of Whitney and what she touched in people, wasn't he? Absolutely. I think that he really showed the world that regardless of color, regardless of class, that there could be similarities in people, even if you don't see the outward similarities um, by your eye. And I think his words were so profound, so genuine, so compelling, but more importantly, he spoke of the support system that everyone exhibited. Every person who met Whitney really knew and saw a greatness in her that I believe the world saw, but he communicated it in a way that everyone understood and it resonated big and large. Her life, she lived a big life, she had a big voice, and I think she left a big impact in the life of every person who knew her. And I think for Kevin, he really showed and displayed a sense of humility and a sense of humor that we all really just were impacted by greatly. It was very profound and even at the repast, almost every person walked up to him and said that they were really moved by his words. Yeah. I, I, I agree, Marvette. It's, it's that communion he had with her that uh, we were all sharing with him as we watched that church ceremony. And, and Sherelle, you have had intimate moments with Whitney. Whitney. What, what's your most, what's the most memorable thing you carry with you in your heart? You know, the fondest, the most fondest thing that I carry is I was going through a transition at one time in my life, 
and she looked at me and she held me and she said, she said, sister, this is what I'm going to give you. She gave me a scripture and she said, everything, right, everything is right there. Everything that I can give you is right there in this scripture and I will never forget that and it changed my life.